for Enso Garage installment number, I don't know, five, I think. So today's project is to wire in this breaker and then maybe deal with that and start moving some equipment. So breaker is over here and I'm gonna cut the power off while I work on it just because I don't, there's just a lot of stuff going on here and I have to, I want to snake the wires back here where it'll be neat. So let me get set up for this and I'll be back. Uh, I'm gonna go time lapse because I just think that's a better way to deal with this kind of stuff. So we got the circuit in. Gosh, it's been forever that this project's been going on. So let's check our outlets. Yep, that's good. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. Yep. Yep, good. So all those are done. Next, uh, I guess I should put the, um, I don't know, I need this back over here before I can build the wood shelving. Yeah, whatever. All right, so we're going to work on getting the garage put back together. If you're wondering what that was, I don't like spiders. In fact, every time I see a spider, I'm sure it's cold. So I warm it up with a torch. Unfortunately, the magic smoke gets out when I warm them up with a torch. I just can't seem to get it right. At any rate, spiders glow in UV light, and those flashlights have a UV mode. So I was checking to make sure there weren't any more spiders, because they do need to work in that corner. And ever since I bought that Crown Super Coach, I've had Black Widows. And you know, like I said, I don't like spiders. And I really don't like Black Widow spiders. Because they're one of the handful of poisonous spiders that can actually hurt people. So they must be really cold. And I keep a torch handy for them. At any rate, that's what that was about. I promise I'm not crazy. And I don't think anybody stole the election. Eh. Anyway, so hopefully you got a good laugh out of that. Uh, I'm sitting here trying to figure out which of the less good things I want to do first. Um, I need to get the wood back on the shelf. And I need to get that corner dealt with. And I'm just trying to figure out, like, how I want to do it. And, of course, there's all this crap that's in the middle of my garage that, yeah, I, I have visions of where it needs to go along these walls. So, uh, anyway, just enjoy the time lapse. Um, I'll get there eventually.
All right, so my fast thought that was on time lapse, but apparently it wasn't. So that's fine. You guys got to see me test it in real time. So what we're basically doing is cleat into the wall, cleat into the 2x4 behind it, and a couple more into the plywood, and then down. So it relies a lot on this. Um, yeah, that's, that's really close. I, you know, I wonder if that's even going to clear. Um, and, and that's fine because it'll keep the big lumber back there, which is where it really belongs. It, it would be better if it was down a little bit. Um, I really hate to move it, but, uh, and these, it, it, for those of you that see these, these are only quarter of an inch deep. They don't really do anything. Um, I'm just recycling lumber because, well, lumber's gotten expensive. Yeah, that needs to come down almost the width of the uh, the cleat. So it needs to come down almost four inches so that I'll have some space to actually put stuff. So I'm going to probably move it down because I think I can do that with four screws. Um, but that's what I'm going to basically build and put back up. And I'm going to recycle some of this lumber in the process, because um, it's cheap. But uh, if it will hang 230 pounds, which is approximately what I weigh, on the tip, then I feel pretty good about putting most of the lumber, the heavy stuff there, and it gives me some bonus storage there. So, and now, 
you know why I used 5 8 plywood to line my garage, because I got plans. I got plans to hang stuff up and get it the hell off this floor and off these shelves and get rid of some of these tables and shelves so that I have space and I don't hit stuff. So, anyway, I can't really work on any projects if um, the floor is cluttered. So, let me go back to time lapse and move that cleat. Alright, so that turned out pretty good. The next step is I need to build a small shelf here and I need to be careful not to hit the wiring which runs right above the outlet boxes. So I'm going to put the here and here and it's for small pieces like that um, and there'll actually be three of them uh, two feet apart. Um, mm -hmm. Real similar to what I did for the big pieces. So anyway, that's next. And then this stuff's gonna move over here and that machine is headed over there today. So let's do it to it.
All right, that may not have seemed very graceful, but this is a big accomplishment. This is why I've been engaged in this project. This mill, that's pretty much where it lives. And it's a little close to this, but this has a little bit of give. Um, and that can pull out if I really need it to. So that's, this is, this is as designed, this is as intended. And I can mount a power strip or a shelf here, so it's, it's where I need it to be. And uh, it's been a long time to get it here. It's taken me a year. So anyway, there'll be another video. This goes there. Um, that's a Monarch 14C. And then this thing will actually start to look like a garage. I still need to consolidate and get rid of some of my tables. Um, I think this toolbox is going to go away, and uh, we'll, we'll, I'll get there eventually. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Please remember to like and subscribe.